Probe Calibration in Wind Tunnels, a short video featuring Dr. Kevin Linfield. This video is brought to you by Airflow Sciences Corporation for all your flow modeling and testing needs since 1975. There are a variety of probes used for flow measurement in gas streams, including hot wire, upper left, vein anemometer, lower left, and pressure differential, or pedo probes, right. For industrial applications, the S-type pedo probe, middle right, is widely used because its large pressure ports make it resistant to plugage from moist or particulate-laden flow streams. This probe is thus often used when measuring gas flow rates in the exhaust stream of industrial plants. These results are reported to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, to accurately monitor pollution emissions from these plants. The EPA provides the test protocol, Method 2, which describes the proper use of the S-type pedo probe in the U.S. Code of Federal Regulations 40 CFR 60. Though there is a standard design for the S-type pedo probe, minor variations in manufacturing tolerances and wear over time can cause the probe measurements to vary. EPA Method 2 thus provides guidelines on how to perform regular calibration of a probe in the controlled environment of a wind tunnel. With a proper calibration, the most accurate flow measurements are obtained in the gas streams of ducts and smokestacks and industrial sites. To protect the public from excess pollution emissions, the EPA requires that industrial sites measure more than just the gas flow rates in their exhaust stacks. Measurements of the pollutant emissions are also required. If the facility has a regulated particulate emission limit, then the concentration of the particulate matter PM, in the exhaust stream is also measured. Very fine PM is measured using the EPA test protocol of method 201A, which focuses on PM in the size range below 10 microns, called PM10, and below 2.5 microns, or PM2.5. These measurement methods use a probe head that is a combination of an S-type pedo probe for velocity and a vacuum-assisted sampling nozzle with a cyclone separator for the particulate. For over 30 years, Airflow Sciences has been using our wind tunnel to calibrate a wide range of velocity probes. The tunnel test section has an area of 4 square feet and its design with a bell mouth inlet and a 125 horsepower fan exceeds all EPA specifications for calibrating probes. Our wind tunnel has a velocity range up to 150 feet per second. A typical 3D velocity probe calibration is shown here. The EPA test protocol requires that the calibration wind tunnel be large enough such that the blockage of the probe is no more than 2% of the tunnel cross section. The Airflow Sciences wind tunnel is large enough to accommodate all velocity and particulate sampling probes except one, the PM10 probe. This probe, shown previously, blocks 2.2% of our wind tunnel. For the calibration of a differential pressure velocity probe, like the S-type pedo, certain steps need to be followed. First, the probe geometry is verified against EPA standards and a leak check is completed. Once the test setup is confirmed to have the correct geometry and be leak-free, the pressure measurement instrumentation is zeroed and then the wind tunnel is turned on. The calibration is generally performed at multiple velocities with three runs required at each velocity setting to verify repeatability. The key measurements are the probe differential pressure and the wind tunnel velocity for each run. After each test, calculations are performed to determine the calibration coefficient, deviation from the mean, and other required values per EPA method 2. Finally, a calibration report documenting the raw data and calculated values is completed. To facilitate calibration of the PM10 probe, Airflow Sciences teamed up with the Aerospace Engineering Department at the University of Michigan for the use of their subsonic low-turbulence 5x7-foot wind tunnel. This large tunnel is capable of velocities up to 200 and feet, 250 feet per second with its 1,200 horsepower motor. While not large enough to hold a full-scale vehicle, its size is more than sufficient to ensure a minimal amount of probe blockage, in this case 0.3%. A photo taken during the U of M PM10 probe calibration featuring ASC staff and students is shown. 
Airflow Sciences uses a data acquisition system called the 3D DAS to perform the calibrations shown here performing the PM10 probe calibration. This measurement system includes fast response, accurate pressure transducers for probe DP, and also measures important ambient conditions such as barometric pressure, temperature, and static pressure. The 3D DAS is capable of reading up to five pressures simultaneously, so it is used for standard pitot probes with a single pressure signal or with three-dimensional pitot probes with multiple pressure signals. For more information on probe calibration and wind tunnels, please visit www.airflowsciences.com. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.